So this is the range. This is very easy to calculate. Unfortunately, if I have outliers in my data, it makes the range almost useless. So then we have to go back to our original question. How can we measure how spread apart our data is without kind of being susceptible to the outlier problem, or at least reduce our sensitivity to the outlier problem? And the answer to that question is something extremely important in statistics, and that is the concept of variance. That's the concept of variance. All right, so we've done the range, we figured out how to do that. Now we're going to try to calculate something called the variance, which is going to tell us how spread apart the data is uh, in a way that's not quite as susceptible to outliers. So that's very, very important. And the, the concept of variance, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, along with standard deviation, which we'll get to in, in, a, in a little bit, um, the concept of variance is never going to leave you in statistics. So you really need to make sure, just like understanding the mean, very important. Understanding the variance, extremely important. So instead of just putting down the equation for variance, which I could do and be done, I'm going to lead you through a logical kind of walkthrough of what it means. And so that way you'll know what the equation is for variance, but you'll also know in your gut what it really means because that's what you really need to, to, to think about and that's what you really need to internalize. So let's say that you have some data set. I'm just kind of drawing a picture here. And this could be a list of numbers. It could be that the height of people in a room, could be the age of people, could be their, you know, if they like peanut butter more than jelly, uh, it doesn't really matter. But usually it's numerical data. So for the kind of the sake of argument, think of it as the ages of people in a room or something like that. So we've learned in this course so far that when you have a bunch of data, we can calculate the mean. And the mean is, the, is kind of like the middle of the road value, right? It's kind of like a representative number that kind of just cuts right to the middle of the data set, the center of gravity, so to speak, of the data set. And we uh, use the X bar notation when we're talking about sample data, right? This is the sample mean. And the way you get it is you add all the values up in your sample and you divide by the number of samples and then you get that number that represents the mean of the sample. All right. So if I wanted to look at each data point, visualize this cloud as a bunch of data points. You know, we've got some data points here, some data points here, which are different values, and here is kind of the mean. Now, if I wanted to look at each individual data point and figure out how far it is from the mean, then I'm kind of measuring the spread of each individual data point, right? Because remember, what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out how spread out our data is. So instead of just doing the range, which is the endpoints, we want to look at every single data point in our set, figure out how far away it is from the mean, and somehow roll that into a calculation that we can then calculate the variance, which is how spread the data is. So if we're just going to examine one point, and only one point right now, then what we would find is for each point, for each data point, the deviation from the mean is very, very simple. Nothing too complicated here. The data value minus the mean. I mean, that's very, very simple, right? So in other words, if I have a data point here, it's, it's 1. Um, and I want to figure out how, and the mean is like 5, then if I want to figure out the deviation from the mean of this data point, I'm just going to subtract them. I'm going to take my data point, I'm going to subtract away the mean, and that's going to give me how far away it is from the mean. If I've got a data point over here, like 7, and the mean is 5, well then I'm going to take that 7, I'm going to